Welcome to a look of one of the fastest growing cities in Canada, Yellowknife, the capital of the Northwest Territories. Throughout this program, you'll see some of what Yellowknife has to offer. Housing, recreation facilities, shopping areas, schools, and much more. We'll even quiz you a little just to see if you're paying attention. This capital city is situated on the north shore of Great Slave Lake, one of the largest lakes in the country. A town built on a rich gold mining heritage, Yellowknife began in the mid-1930s when gold was discovered. From those early days, aviation opened the north and the city began to grow and expand its boundaries. A new town site was established just a stone's throw from what is now Old Town and Yellowknife grew to become the capital of Canada's largest territory in 1967. Today Yellowknife maintains a balance of urban city lifestyle with traditional culture and country living. Within a short drive from any home in the city, you can eat in a world-class restaurant, watch a top current movie release, or fish for trophy-sized lake trout. Camping, hunting, hiking are all within easy reach, and Yellowknife boasts one of the fastest growing populations in the country, and one of the largest after-tax incomes in Canada. Exploration, gold mining, government services, tourism, and soon to begin diamond mining are the city's major employers with lots of support services available. Combine all this with a healthy environment, excellent education system, and a busy secure housing market, and you've got one of the best kept secrets in Canada, until now. Just a short 10 years ago, chain stores and commercial franchises were rare in the city. IGA, Radio Shack, Kentucky Fried Chicken, the occasional car dealer, and a host of chartered banks were all that dotted the landscape. But not anymore. The list of who is not here now would be easier to compile. Many of Canada's most popular service and product suppliers register Yellowknife as one of their locations. Walmart, Canadian Tire, San, Reitman's, Bata Shoes, San Francisco, Ford, GM, Chrysler, A&W, McDonald's, Domino's, Mr. Submarine, Mark's Work Warehouse, and dozens more. Some are downtown, some are in the suburb of Frame Lake, and all are within easy reach of all Yellowknifers. It's time for our first skill testing question. One of the major factors in Chatelaine's placing was the varied public facilities Yellowknife has to offer. Both the public and separate school boards can boast of unique and well-received structures that blend the richness of the North with academic excellence. One school encompasses a Northern Arts and Cultural Center, while another integrates studio radio and television into the school day. The recently built Stanton Regional Health Center, named after one of Yellowknife's early caregivers, offers Yellowknife and other northern communities a state-of-the-art facility with ambulatory and air transfer capabilities. Two ice arenas, two curling rinks, a ski club, and several snowmobile trails help ensure that winter is anything but boring. Golfers can rest easy, the Yellowknife Golf Course has nine challenging holes to play, and during the winter season, you can take on the world's premier courses indoors at one of the local watering holes. A beachfront, indoor pool, several baseball diamonds, and a racket club help round out just some of the sports centers available to the public. The Prince of Wales Heritage Center, a new library, and one of the busiest airports around add to the lifestyle and needs of Yellowknifers young and old. As you can see, finding something to do in Yellowknife is not really a problem.
Okay, time to put on your thinking cap again as we quiz you on your northern knowledge. Life in the North is unique in many ways. Lifestyle choices are varied, and many take place within the city or on the land. All are easily accessible to residents of the capital city. Summer activities include sports like softball, where several league teams play weekly games with a flurry of fun and finesse. Soaking up the sunshine can take a lot of your leisure time too, since up to 22 hours of sunlight per day is common in early summer. For the water enthusiasts, the choices are almost endless. A sandy beach near the airport welcomes young and old alike. Located inside a local park and camping area, Long Lake offers a close, comfortable setting for many water activities. Water skiers roam the waves all summer long, sharing that space with jet boats, canoes, windsurfers, and the occasional float plane. A scenic series of walking trails wind their way through the city, taking strollers from the suburb to the downtown core and beyond, with waterways, wildlife, and woodlands bordering the trip. Great Slave Lake can challenge even the most determined angler. The vast lake, stretching a few hundred kilometers in length, is home to some of the largest lake trout in the world. 15, 20, 25, and even 35 pounders like this one are not uncommon with the largest ever caught tipping the scales at 65 pounds. Winter in the capital is also busy with indoor and outdoor activities competing for your attention. Several hockey leagues play throughout the winter months. League play for children of all ages is available and regular schedules are also available for men and women to play Canada's favorite pastime two arenas handle the workload with a third planned for the near future. Curling also plays an important part in many people's lives. Two facilities are available for Yellowknifers to enjoy. The Yellowknife Ski Club has established a series of cross-country trails to challenge you and all are embraced in wildlife and landscape. Snowmobilers can relax. Endless trails throughout the city and beyond offer hundreds of miles and hours of riding, racing, touring, and sightseeing. Indoor sports like volleyball are very popular as well, with league play a major competitor for leisure time. Caribou Carnival takes to the ice every March. The Canadian Championship Dog Derby, 150 miles of exciting dog mushing is the highlight of Carnival Weekend. Whatever your lifestyle, city slicker or life on the land, Yellowknife can accommodate your desires in spades. It's the same with housing. Whatever your choice, apartment, condo, townhouse, stick-built, mobile, even floating barge, are all available to the avid buyer. Most new development is located in the Frame Lake suburb, with the most recent development, Niven Lake, located near to the downtown core. Mobile home areas are popular with new and long-time Yellowknifers alike. Significantly lower price than conventional homes, mobile setups offer an attractive alternative to first-time home buyers. All new packages are placed on steel piles, pinned to bedrock to avoid shifting and leveling concerns. All include appliances and are available in a variety of colors, layouts and trim packages. Double wide units and sectional homes that increase living space while giving the appearance of a more conventional house style are also available. All are suited to the northern climate and maintain an acceptable resale value. Conventional homes are also available in a number of areas. Stick built homes are popular with a variety of styles and models to choose from. A host of northern builders compete for buyers with attractive options, architecture and prices. Unlike many developments down south, Yellowknife streets offer a varied look in housing units. Rows of common structures are rare. Homes are built to express their uniqueness and offer differ greatly in design from their next door neighbor. Prices vary with new home entries available as well as executive size homes. A good supply of newer and older houses is generally available. Modular type homes are also present in the Yellowknife housing market. These units combine the cost-saving aspects of mobile construction with their traditional look and layout of conventional stick-built homes. Priced competitively, many new and long-time Yellowknifers are moving to this lifestyle. 
If condominium living is your goal, Yellowknife can offer some unique choices in this regard. A downtown apartment complex leads the way with several layouts available to the home buying public. The complex boasts rare indoor parking and adjacent shopping mall. Other similar apartment style blocks are available as condominiums as well as townhouse style housing. For entry level housing, several trailer parks featuring older mobile home developments are now available in a condominium environment, many with or without land purchase. For rental properties, the selection is equally as varied. Apartment blocks, basement apartments, houses, mobile units and shared accommodations are routinely available in the capital. Okay, break time. Here's another quick quiz to try and answer. When you put it all together, Yellowknife is a unique combination of work, play, lifestyle, and family activities that takes a backseat to no one anywhere. With excellent recreational facilities, superb housing choices, and an extensive list of service and product suppliers, Yellowknife is a city on the rise. The capital of the Northwest Territories is and will continue to be a city of the 21st century.